What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and this one is gonna be special, it is yet again the Takra Cup Tekken World Tour Dojo from Pakistan, 178 players in total, this is the losers final, we have Amai Sani, arguably the greatest Akuma in the world, although I gotta say Atif Bhatt is making a serious case for himself in that category. But we have Avice going up against the John. Uh, I do want to say Yoon here because it's a Swedish name, Yoon, although I'm certain it's not exclusive to Sweden. But uh, his Marduk is something else. So I haven't watched this set here, but I've watched other sets with Yoon and holy shit. So let's watch this one versus Avice Hani and on the greatest stage ever just because it's the Church of the Ora stage, Hammerhead. Um, but would you believe it, guys? The greatest Marduk in the world is from Pakistan. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm just as uh, in shock and disbelief as uh, <laughs> all of you watching this on YouTube. Uh, no, but it just seems uh, Pakistan is one step above every other region in the world when it comes to Tekken. They have a never-ending pool of players doesn't matter uh, and they play not only Akuma and Steve and uh, well insert very strong character here you know Kazumi, Geese, they play every single goddamn character it seems and they play them all to uh, to perfection I almost want to say uh, the fundamental level you know is above the Koreans the Koreans do not move as fast, they don't wave punish as well, they don't duck highs as well. Um, the defensive play is from another planet. Well, it's from... not another planet, it's from Pakistan. So, the big question, of course, going forward is, is anyone going to be able to stop these guys that isn't from Pakistan? That, of course, remains to be seen as Tekken Tokyo ma ma Masters a week ago Atif Bhatt and Avaisani, uh, a double Akuma pairing, uh, destroyed everyone. And you had some of the best Koreans and Japanese players present at that tournament. So, uh, what the hell can anyone do at this point? So, really nice block there on the down four. And uh, Yoon, or John, gets a wild standing free launch. And that's the round. So, we have 1 1 here in losers final. Uh, and of course, the winner of. Oh, nice tackle there. Oh, brutality. The winner of this set will fight Atif Bhatt in the Grand Finals. So the question here is, will it be Avais Hani versus Atif Bhatt again? A, uh, a duel, uh, <laughs> an Akuma duel. <laughs> I know everyone is kind of tired of that. It's even gone as far as to seeing people in the Twitch chat in these tournaments saying, Please give us Dragonov versus Jack back. <laughs> you know, it's really bad when people go that far. Blasphemy saying that. I, I couldn't... Oh shit, it, it does take the first match there versus allies. I, I, I wouldn't be able to stand seeing Jack versus Drag again, but I do agree. There's been so much Akuma lately, and in this tournament... I hear there, there were six Akumas in the top eight. We all know Akuma is very popular in Pakistan. They hold him to an incredibly high regard. And why not? We've proven that the character is too much. Especially if he doesn't receive a meter nerf. But I think you will see that in the December patch when um, Leroy is released. I think you will see a meter nerf on Akuma. Because as he is right now, it is too much. If you're gonna give Geese a big nerf where you remove his crazy stuff, like his down one dick jab, and uh, you castrate his neutral game by nerfing down for two and standing four, I feel like it is justified to give Akuma a meter nerf if you're not going to remove his uh, 10 frame launcher or his down two hado or his... Uh, well, just absurd combos. Well, I mean, he has counter hit dick jab into combo. Very nice. Oh god, it's very even here. Ah, down free. Very nice ender. Nice beard there on John. 
Ooh, that's the buffed range on Marduk's down for one. That's new in season three. It hits from very far away. You can even punish Heihachi's forward for two now uh, with down for one if you're close enough when blocking. Big damage there. Yeah, Yun looking extremely strong here. Already up one match, and uh, Adais did uh, start this match very well, taking the first round, but here it looks like Yoon is gonna get the second round. But uh, as I say that, a big launch for Adais, and this is gonna be Wall. Uh, oh my god, he goes for the huge combo. Shankaraka, Hayash! <gasps> very little health, can he stand up? Down free. That was risky that he oh, oh very nice. Oh my god. Um, Akuma is actually at a not a very strong advantage there at the wall after Raging Demon. If you do that toe kick the down free there as uh, Yun did, it's uninterruptible. Uh, so he actually has to block her low parry there. Very nice. Oh converts the get up form that hits mid-air into a juggle. That's guaranteed huge damage. Oh. Nah, drops a combo and he gets punished. Wow. Very nice. A massive, massive drop there by away, Sunny. That would have been the round given to the John instead. I have a feeling like Honey is now... Yeah, so Yoon here, uh, or John, looking very good. No throw break on Ford Ford 1 plus 2, Jesus. That, that's the one throw you really want to break there versus Mark. No break on the tackle. Nice, does reverse the, the mix up. Oh no, this is going to be huge. Oh! Oh! Cr that was a, that was sick, but unfortunately he got a side splash. Oh, nice reverse! Oh, down for it to close it out. Very nice match. Surprising not seeing uh, allies get more breaks on those tackles. Uh, I mean, he does reverse the follow-up, but as you may know, you can actually break the tackle, although the break window is very, very small. Um, but yeah, when we're talking a player of Avai's uh, caliber, you kind of expect to see more breaks, especially on that Ford Ford 1 plus 2 com launching command throw. Um, hmm, but still, yeah, of course he's playing. Yeah, uh, 10 out of 10. So yeah, he's actually up uh, two matches here. Two matches on Amais. Mm, nice one to punish. Oh, very nice. One to even on the get up four. Like he just gotta land things right. Right. So if he if he land everything right and keep his off Nice interrupts the tackle with Ford Free. Oh, Ford Free very buff in season three. Excellent poke tool. Very nice punish. One too many times there goes for the low. Yeah. It's fine. The no mix up mix up didn't work out. No taken. Oh, oh. boom. <laughs> Big risk there by allies. Oh, really nice. It's gonna be a lot of health, and he saved one bar. Still has a bar here. Oh, no break on the tackle. Can he reverse it? Doesn't get the reverse. What's the Oki? Down free. And yeah, that's it. Very nice. Closes out for a round. Oh, here we go. What are you doing, bro? The Jai bag. Yes. 
Nice. Double down four. Amai Sanatif have shown that they are not afraid to throw those down fours, you know, in multiple succession. And uh, it's also nice to see, interesting to watch the Pakistani Akumas always try and place that at very tip range, the down four. A lot of characters actually can't even punish it if they block it at tip range, which is, oh, nice. Which is a good thing to know uh, versus Akuma. Got it right, but it's not over yet. Very nice. I tried my best by using yes. my commentary. So Akuma's lows are deadly in many ways. With down free, uh, unseeable 15 frame low, needs clean hit, of course. So from from if you're very close to Akuma, you you do know that he has a 50 50 with that low that kills you. But then it's interesting that it's not like he's terrible far away from you either when it comes to lows because the down four reaches far, far away, doesn't need a clean hit to knock down into Oki, and it's actually quite safe if you use it from it from tip range. So Akuma's low game, there's more to that than a lot of people uh, recognize. Big punish there with Damak too. Uh, so 15 seconds left here, can Avice get the comeback? He does have rage and one bar, so yeah, any hit would have done it. But then he takes Marduk's full body weight to the chest. And yeah, Akuma wasn't breathing after that. I think no one would be. Oh, nice down four. Yeah, the ground throw there. Very nice stock, up forward three. Oh, great that he broke that ground throw. Oh, turns around with the tackle. No break. Can he reverse the mix-up? He does. Will he tackle again? Oh, no. Here we go. Didn't get the wall splat. It's very even here. No, no break. Nice reverse. <laughs> it's so even here. Oh, my God. Who's going to win it? Akuma in Oh, if Yoon gets this, he wins the set. Didn't have meter. No, oh, jabs him out of it. Very nice. Or did he kick him out of it? Yeah, two to one. Great matches. And uh, I, I can't believe I haven't even said it so far, but very, very refreshing to see a Marduk not only in a tournament, but in a top eight. And in a top eight that features an endless amount of Akumas. But I do know that uh, Jun does have a pocket Akuma himself. So it seems like everyone does in uh, Pakistan. Well, a lot of players at least. So now it's 2-1 uh, to Yoon, he only needs uh, one more match of course, so we'll see if he can close it out now or if Avais is going to claim another match, making it even, 2-2. Two, two, two. Oh, very nice. We changed that string for season 3, it's harder to deal with now. Okay, it doesn't quite get the wall combo there. But still, wall pressure, very nice wall bounce there. Uh, Avais very quickly claims the first round. So is he getting a full comeback here versus Yoon? Can Yoon adapt? But of course, the, the last match was extremely even. Could have gone either way. Oh, doesn't get the wall break there. Yeah, it's playing very carefully there. It would have been very easy for you, you know, to try and go aggressive, try and really um, get things going there, as Avice was so close to the wall. But he plays it very safe. He has the life lead. He just back dashes and relaxes because, of course, just one tiny mistake versus Akuma, and you can die. Doesn't quite get the wall. 10 seconds left. Avice is gonna have to hurry now. Goes for Raging Demon. That's gonna get punished. Jumps over. 
drops to the ground. Probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> oh, that's smart by you. Very smart. That's very good that Marta can manually drop to the ground with that jumping tackle. Comes in very handy on time timeouts. Yeah, no meter here on Avais. And immediately he has meter. Oh god. Nerf that, please. Big block on the down four. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Nice. Bre oh, breaks the throw, but rage drive. Nice, reverses it. And that's Marduk's hell sweep, and it splats on the wall, and you're dead. Yeah, set point here for, for you. It's looking very good. Oh, here we go. Down free clean hit. Drops the combo. Uncharacteristic there by Avais. But still, huge lightly doesn't break the launching throw. The one thing you have to do here versus Marduk. Oh, breaks the tackle. Very nice. And he's dead. Very nice there. Nice defensive play by Avais. So is Avais gonna get the, the match here? He desperately needs it to make it 2-2. Two -two. Jun only needs to take this round here and he pr proceeds to grand finals. Very nice parry. Nice uh, reverse there by Avais. Are we gonna see another tackle? <laughs> Certainly, come on. We love tackles. Except when I'm playing versus Marduk, when I hate tackles. I love seeing other people eat tackles, so it's very entertaining. Uh, so, quite the life lead here. Oh, for, I was gonna say life lead for you, but that. Oh, he dropped! He dropped it! That would have been it! Nice mix up on the rage drive, breaks the tackle. Oh no, he's getting poked! One more poke for Yoon. Oh, very nice. Yoon takes it. Very, very nice. Takes out Avais Hani and proceeds to grand finals uh, to face Atifat. The incredible play and Marduk, you know, of all characters. You don't see a lot of Marduk because he's... He's, he's a character with a lot of weaknesses. You know, he has some things he does really well and the tackle is really nice, but... So clunky in many ways, and here he is in grand finals up against Atif Bats Akuma. And uh, it's hard not to be impressed by Yoon, or sorry, John. I, I want to say Yoon because, uh, as I said, it's a Swedish name, but John, John, Jon, John, Jon. Um, did extremely well, uh, and it's, it's, it's so hyped to keep seeing new characters uh, represented by the Pakistanis. So incredible play by both of these guys. Uh, incredible match. And I hope you enjoyed my commentary at least somewhat. So take care everyone and have a lovely day.